know it's late. But I want to talk about something for a minute to kind of help the believers. Because if you walk this walk, I'm serious, you're going to go through this. So go ahead, invite your followers. Those in the replay, I hope all this well. I haven't seen too many people on. Hey, Miss Roy, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Invite your followers. Good to see you. Long time no see. Hello, hello. Where you been hiding at? I haven't seen you on. I haven't even seen you on a replay. Hope all is well. Thanks for joining. Working. That's good. What do you do for a living? Just curious. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I uh, just got home not too long ago as well. Just got out of the shower. It's been a long day. And just the Holy Spirit kind of put something in my spirit. Cool. Praise God. Praise God. Well, anyway, y'all, I'm just going to get to it. Like I said, I hope all is well. First timers, I thank you for coming on. Anyway, I just want to talk about this. This is something that many of us walk in, and it's the spirit of offense. So many times we get offended, we get offended by people. You know, hey, Miss KK, how you doing? Thanks for joining. We get offended by people, people close to us. We get agitated. But you got something you got to realize. God puts those pe kind of people in your way just to try your faith. There's, there's going to be people. That's going to intentionally, hey, how you doing, precious? There's people that's going to intentionally come and try your nerves. <laughs> I mean, why it's like that, I don't know. But you have to realize if God's word said there's going to be trials that come upon you and everything is coming to test your faith. I don't care what it is. That's why you have agitators. That's why you got word raiders. You got people that are always coming up against you. And we always try to figure out like, wow. Why am I having these issues? Why am I going through this? Why it seem like everybody getting on my nerves? <laughs> Why it seem like I can't get a break? But you have to realize God is doing all that to try your faith. See, a lot of us claim to have faith and see one thing about it. If you claim to have faith and you claim to stand on that word, you will be tried. I don't care who you are. I don't care how deep you are. It's not about your title. It's not about how much power you got or how much Holy Ghost you got. You got to understand this, higher level, higher demons. I don't care who you are. You going, you going, you going, you are going to face a trial. I don't care whether it's sickness. I don't care whether, whatever it may be. I don't care whether it be financially. I don't care if it's your divorce, whatever it may be. You are going to face a trial. And this is something that, what really was in my spirit tonight. When God say, do not find it strange when fiery trials come up on you. You're going to get offended. A lot of us will step out of character. And see, sometimes when you step out of character, one thing you got to realize, you got to ask God to show you yourself. And what God is going to do is he's going to allow you to be persecuted. And he's going to let that thing come to, come to the surface so you can see exactly what it is you need to work on. See, a lot of us see it. I wasn't born saved. I don't know about you. But I know I have some things that I need to work together. I know there has to be some things that I got to get right in my heart. Yeah, we got to stay humble. But see, not only that, but see, God would also allow you to see what it is you got to get out of you. That's why I said like persecution. Persecution is designed to get the mess out of you. It's designed to put a mirror in front of you to see what it is exactly that you need to do that, what you need to work on, what you need to repent from. But see, I see a lot of Christians, and what I want to talk about tonight is the spirit of offense. See, we like to get offended. See, one thing about it, if you in God, you will be offended. If you in God, you will be persecuted. That's why he says, blessed are those who are not offended. See, when people come up against you, you know what? Rejoice. 
because it's all working together for your good no matter what it is no matter the persecution no matter the shortcomings or whatever it may be don't get offended even on your job people say stuff to you they get offended people want to step out of character you want to snap out snap in don't ever get offended by that what you do is you smile and you praise God. But one thing you have to realize when you're going through, when you got agitators, you got word raiders, you have to begin to hold on to the word and not allow people to make you step out of character. Because what people make you do it all the time, just like with me, just like with me on my job, people like to say things. You see, these people are sinners. They in the world. And see, they know me with being a man of God. They know there's certain things I'm not going to stand for. Don't you know people will come say something to you just to get on your nerves? People will intentionally do things just to try to offend you. But you got to grab a hold of God's word and says, blessed are those who are not offended. You see, so regardless of what people do, God put them kind of people there just to test you. Just to see how you're going to act. Are you still going to love under pressure? Are you still going to pray under pressure? God will put people in your way just to try you. It's to try. It's all working together for your faith. Yeah, we know it's working together for your good. But you know, you also, in order to get a breakthrough, you got to go through. In order to get a breakthrough, you got to go through trials and tribulations. You have to be able to endure that very thing that's coming up against you. You have to be able to endure when your flesh go to rising up. And you got to put your flesh under subjection and say, I will not bow down the flesh. And one thing about this flesh, it bows down to God. It bows down to that word. But this is something you got to realize. Stop stepping out of character with people. Just if you're the woman of God, you have to be able to lift up a standard against all that. You have to be able to stand in God under pressure, even though your back is up against the wall and say, you know what? I will not submit to that. Satan and Lord rebuke you. You have to begin to bind. So if we got this Holy Ghost in us. If we have this treasure in earthly vessels, we shouldn't be getting offended. We should be letting things brush off us. We should be walking away from things that bother us. We shouldn't be getting offended and stepping out of character. You have to learn to trust God and stay in that word regardless of what it is. Stay in character. Don't let people get you like that. One thing about it, don't ever let somebody see you step out of God. Because I'm telling you, there's always consequences once you step out of God. I don't care what it is. When you step out of God, you step in the flesh. And the, always remember that the flesh is contrary to the spirit, right? So you got to remember to remain in the spirit. Don't allow people to get you like that. Don't allow people to have you snap and get angry and be bitter. Don't allow people to get you like that. Don't allow that same ex to call your phone and get on your nerves to get you out of character. Begin to stay in the God's word. Begin to stay in God. Begin to stay rooted in God. Begin to stay in God's spirit. Because I promise you, he's going to let the enemy come to you just to test you. Yeah, God is going to let the enemy come. So you got to begin to stay rooted in God. Begin to say what well, God's word. Go back to the situation and see what God's word say about it. Because people of God, we walk around, we get offended. We walk around bitter. We walk around anger. But God said in this hour, get rid of all bitterness. Get rid of all envy and anger. He says, crave spiritual milk so you can grow in your salvation. How many want to grow with God? How many want a relationship with God? But there's some things in order to go to that next level in God. You have to begin to cut things off that's contrary to the spirit. Yeah, but the enemy's going to keep trying you. You know why? Because it's his job. You can't get mad at for somebody for doing his job. He's going to keep coming at you. He's going to keep throwing things at you. And most of all, you know how the enemy is going to get to you? He's going to use people. That's why he's going to use people to try to send the spirit of offense. He's going to use people to try to get on your nerves and agitate you. That's what the enemy does. He tries to get you to step out of character. Because see what the enemy also knows that you can't be double minded. See the enemy knows this word. That's why you have to begin to stay rooted in the word. And know what God's word is saying. That I cannot act like this. I cannot go back to the ignorant ways that I once was in the world. See the enemy wants you to step out of God. He wants you to do everything contrary to the will of God. 
See, that's his job. But what, what a real child of God is going to do, somebody that's really filled with that Holy Ghost, that's truly saved, is going to grab a hold of God's word and say, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You're not going to allow me to step out of the word. You tricked me for far too long. And I'm not going to allow you to do it. I'm going to begin to walk with God. I'm going to walk hand in hand with God. That I'm going to stay in the spirit. And that I'm not going to get back in the flesh. I'm not going to allow the, de the devil to trick me. To take me back. See what the enemy is doing. He's trying to pull a bunch of us back into that worldly mentality. He's trying to get you out of God. So you can mess up your blessings. So you he can mess, mess you up from going to that next place in God. That's what the enemy is coming. He's coming to send distractions to try to get you out of that word. But see, what you got to learn how to do is put the enemy in his place. And so you know what? Not today, Satan. I'm not going to allow you to aggravate you, aggravate me. I'm not going to allow you to let me step into the spirit of offense. But see, you got to stay rooted in God to know that all things are working together for your good. The agitators, the war raiders. He has to let those people come to you. No matter what the situation is, begin to trust God. But when you begin to apply the word to the situation, when, we, when you begin to pray and seek God and say, God, you God, you already told me, God, now, if I acknowledge you, you'll direct my path. So God, even uh, anoint my mouth so I won't say the wrong thing. So I won't step out of the spirit. God, keep me in the spirit. Because, God, I've been getting offended. God, my flesh, I don't know how to control my flesh. Begin to confess that those things to God. Because although you're a woman of God, you're a man of God, you are not perfect. Your flesh is still corrupt. This flesh right here is no good. So you got to die to this thing daily in order to go higher in the spirit. Don't you know you can dwell in the spirit, but you're going to have to put your flesh under subjection. You're going to have to really submit to God. For wholeheartedly submit to God. If you really want to get the blessings of God, you really want to see a manifestation of God, you're going to have to learn how to put this flesh on a subjection. Your number one enemy is you. Point to yourself. Your number one enemy is you. So this is what you have to do. God, show me a mirror. Give me a mirror so I can see my reflection. Show me myself what it is that I got to get right. But God, shine the light down from heaven and illuminate anything in me that shouldn't be. Expose it because, God, I want it out of me. God, I need you to go deep down inside of me and pull this thing out because I don't want nothing hindering my blessings. I don't want nothing to stop me from getting to where I need to be in you. But this is what you need in this hour. It's time to bind up the devil because he's been riding the people of God too long. He's been blocking doors. And God's been opening doors, but we let the enemy come in and take our blessings. No, it's time to get back what the devil stole. It's time for letting him rob us. It's time out for it. Receive this message tonight, y'all. I just want to send this because people of God, we got to begin to stay in character of God. Stop stepping out of the spirit. Stop allowing your flesh to overrule you. But it's time for you to get back what the enemy stole. It's time for you to walk in your peace. It's time for you to walk in the joy, in, back in your joy. It's time for you to get back connected to God in this season. But all right, y'all, that's my message for tonight. Y'all, y'all be blessed. Be encouraged.